Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. I wish to speak with you today about practice. There's an expression, practice makes perfect. But in your own experience, you may find that this isn't quite so. I think the best we can say is that practice makes progress. There is a lot of confusion and misunderstanding about the nature and the value of practice. This one has had a difficult time with practice throughout his life. As a young child, most things came easy to him. He had a quick mind and a skinny little body that was agile. And because of this, most tasks were mastered pretty quickly. But when things got difficult, he did not want to practice. If it didn't come easy to him, he didn't want to do it at all. And that starts to bend your path in a certain direction. When he was in first or second grade, he saw that his sister was practicing the piano and he was interested in that. And he asked his parents, could he have lessons? And they said, okay. He took lessons, but he refused to practice. He would do the lesson, and then there was this tremendous resistance to practicing because things didn't come easy, and it wasn't automatic. And then there was this big conflict between him and his parents. Go downstairs and practice your piano. I already did. No, you didn't. And he started to hate the piano and hate his parents and hate practice. And this played out throughout his life. Didn't want to do anything that didn't come easy. On a spiritual level, the resistance to practice is quite understandable because there was a time for every soul where practice was totally unnecessary, where things could happen at the speed of thought. But all one needed to do was think of something and it would happen. No practice, no rehearsal, just manifestation out of joy. And this memory is inside of everyone. And yet on this plane, Things don't happen instantly. I'm bringing this up because I'm encouraging you to practice whatever it is that you want. And the more you practice, even if at first it seems you're not making any progress at all, you will notice that something will take over that the practicing will give way to a spontaneity and a creativity that won't be available to you without practice. Something as simple as asking me to come into your life requires a little practice, not just once, but many times. Finally, this one is asking me to come in and be with him. 
so he can feel my presence. And it's happening more because he's practicing. With regard to the piano lessons when he was younger, his parents finally gave up in third grade. They said, you don't have to take lessons anymore. It was so traumatic for him. The teacher was yelling at him. He was crying after every lesson and he still refused to practice. They finally gave up and said, okay, no more piano. And he was greatly relieved. However, in 1963 and 1964, when the Beatles came on board, all of a sudden, he wanted to be in a band. And he started picking out tunes on the piano by ear and imitating the songs that he heard. And then he couldn't stop practicing. And he practiced and practiced and practiced all through college. Every spare moment was spent in piano practice rooms in the music department, trying to learn the latest songs and practicing over and over and over again. Not because he loved practice, but he loved what he was shooting for, which was mastery of these songs. And then an amazing thing happened. From his practice, something automatically took over. His left hand and his right hand started doing things that he didn't even realize they could do. And he could recreate everything he heard. And this was a result of all those years of practice. So what I recommend is that you release your resistance to practice. Yes, things will not come instantly to you. But there is great reward in practicing what you know to be good for you and practicing towards a goal with little regard to judging yourself on the pathway. Something as simple as noticing your breath standing up straight, becoming conscious of your posture. All of these things will take practice because before they become part of you that you're comfortable with and natural with. But the rewards will be great. The willingness to practice what you want, even if it's just practicing listening to someone, you will get better and better at it. You will become more present to them and see things that you never saw before. If you're willing to practice just listening, just being with someone, practice being kind to yourself. It may, it may not seem natural in the beginning, but you can become your own best friend if you practice. And your willingness to do so will bring forth a spontaneity that you never knew existed. A consciousness that finally will have things feel easy to you that used to be difficult. In first grade, almost everyone is overwhelmed when they look up and they see all the letters above the blackboard, above the chalkboard, that they're required to learn how to shape. It seems overwhelming. And yet, with practice, all of those letters are accessible and aren't even thought about anymore as words are formed.
change your perspective on practice. It isn't the goal in itself, but it is your gateway to what you really want. Great rewards are in store for you. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.